Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy. I work for Tom Gibbons, a range master in Memphis, and I wanted to do a review of a complete outside the waistband holster system that I've had for approximately a little over two months now. I wanted to wait on this review because I wanted to give it uh, the full disclosure of opinion after having taken some pretty rough outside classes, both indoor and uh, outdoor classes. So with that said, uh, I've participated in two 500 round count classes and I've participated in tactical responses, fighting shotgun and fighting rifle, which if you've ever shot on an outdoor range on crushed gravel, you know that your holsters for your sidearms are going to be put to the test in some pretty good weather conditions, uh, diverse to say, and uh, tactical response never never fails to deliver on their kind of training. So with that said, I come to you today with that experience in the past two months to uh, initially go ahead and tell you up front uh, that I really like these holsters. So let's let's show them off and talk about them a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a uh, you know, closed button front shirt uh, and right now I have two outside the waistband holsters on. So if I make the turn for you, pretty self-explanatory. Um, I have good posture. I tend to think that that makes people conceal a lot better when their shoulders are back and their head is high. Um, with that said, let's talk about the holster. So let me go ahead and remove my cover garment here. Uh, you can go open front as well, uh, obviously, but even closed, I wanted you to see that it still conceals pretty well, at least at the positions I carry them. So let's, let's show them off. Uh, I wore some contrasting colors today because I want you to see the holsters and we'll do some close-ups in a moment. So what we have here is Black Point Tactical. They are out of Alpharetta, Georgia and I am told there are a couple of guys who uh, had friends, if not they themselves were in the shooting industry and they just wanted a, a better and different result from the wait times they were seeing from their friends purchasing holsters and uh, they had a few good ideas <laughs> and I'm really excited about the one that I saw. Let me tell you quickly how I got introduced to them. Uh, our place went down to Oconee County, Georgia to teach a combat pistol class. I was one of the instructors in that class and I think out of the 22 students we had in that class nine of them showed up wearing this brand of holster and there was an additionally another two or three that said they owned it but as they were law enforcement they came with their rigs or duty rigs as given them full credit for doing that because that's how they would genuinely fight uh, from their job but they had these rigs at home so they highly recommended them and a, a phone call later Black Point uh, totally fixed me up with some really customized get, kit uh, that I wanted to try out for myself. So on my strong side, my right hand, I have here a, an outside the waistband wing holster, light wing holster. I have with it a, an APL light on a 17. And again, we'll get a close up. And on my left side, has their modular accessory pouch system, their map system. I believe I've got that correct. And what you see is correct, and again, you'll get a close-up, but all three of these systems here are connected together, but they're connected with leather pieces that gives it a flexibility I haven't seen anywhere else. And because of that leather, it keeps them from clacking together, which I think is pretty important as you're walking about your daily life. Um, as it might be a question, my belt is from Aries. It's a Ranger belt. Um, so nothing new there. As I spin around, you'll see that this is where my placements are. You'll see that there's no cant to my front, to my strong side, but you'll see there is a cant on my weak side uh, as it is placed a little bit further back the ergonomics of using 
and drawing that weapon from that hand. It's just, I think it makes more sense. Uh, but with that, lots of room between the magazines to get where I need to go if I get rid of the first one to the second one. And essentially that's what it looks like while I'm wearing it. Uh, can you untuck a t-shirt and wear this? No. No, you can't. I've been wearing an appendix type setup for the past, I don't know, a year and a half, two years, I think. And I'm giving that a little bit of a break to try this outside the waistband kit out. I've never had a full outside the waistband kit before. I was raised since I was 19 to go inside the waistband, strong sided for the longest time, and uh, went inside the waistband from the beginning. So with, uh, with those kind of thoughts in mind, I'm getting a little bit older. Uh, it, the rigs I have are very comfortable, um, but with that, I wanted to just try some outside the waistband stuff to see how it would feel every day carry and the heat and the, um, the moisture, the level of humidity we have down here in the Mississippi Valley. But uh, all right, so let's take a close up and see what they look like super close up. So let's get to the close-up. Uh, what you see here is their outside the waistband light wing holster. Notice on the sides there it has the leather attachments that go to the belt. Uh, they're spread pretty far apart with some flexibility that makes it pretty comfortable. Um, you can see that from the side here I've rubbed some of the black off the edge and a little bit of its maneuverability there. The clips are metal, which are really nice, uh, very sturdy. The fetal prone positions that we were doing on and off was putting some real wear on the holsters, uh, but I found that as much as that they moved, they certainly had some give in it that made it very comfortable leaning my full body weight into them. You can see that the markings on that leather are from uh, the rocks of uh, Tennessee. So, uh, but again, it's just uh, on the outside there, no no, uh, no hint to their lack of functioning or whatnot. So next is their map system. Um, you can configure this on their website any way you'd like. Uh, and though I did it over the phone, uh, you see that it's very flexible from front to back. The connections are leather between each of the kydex enclosed pieces of the system, whatever it may be. Uh, you can see there for a shield and two Glock 9mm uh, mags. Now, brand new, it was definitely a lot prettier, but again, uh, total kudos to those guys for choosing some quality pieces. And uh, I thought another neat thing is they were quick to point out over the phone that they use uh, Loctite Blue on all their screws before they ship stuff because, um, you know, there's some hard use that go into these things. And I thought that was a, a neat little uh, thought that they put into their holster systems. But um, got a few scratches on it, but uh, nothing backed out, nothing broke. Uh, the only thing that happened was some of the black from the leather bled onto my pants, but that's a little justified. I was rained on for about 12 hours out of 16, and it was 100 degrees. I sweated through these things and thought they did real well. So with that, there's the close-up of it. So folks, you can see by some of the close-ups that I did, uh, they got some significant use in a very short amount of time, and I feel 100% that they were able to withstand it, and they still have a great life uh, expectancy out of them. And, uh, you know, let it be known, talking to them on customer service and even advertise on their website, uh, they've, got a, they've got a full guarantee that... I imagine if I ever wear any of this leather out through use, those guys would make good on simple replacement of it. And, um, you know, that may be, that may be two or three years from now. 
um, you have to look at your own use and how often you know the type of how often the training you do and how what kind of training that you do particularly if it's all outside in the heat and the rain uh, the killers of most leather type holster products regardless um, you know I as outside the waistband goes, I just thought it was a really nifty, neat idea. I've, at the mercy of others, have been allowed to borrow some complete Kydex systems that are outside the waistband, some Kydex systems that go inside the waistband, uh, the systems that are super famous now where they have a leather or neoprene on the inside towards the body and a Kydex sheath kind of half of, a, of the weapon covered on the outside that the weapon fits into. And those look super comfortable. Um, and I'm not saying they aren't. This is the system I wanted to go with. Again, being outside the waistband, I feel like I carry a lot of stuff. Um, it's the stuff that I feel comfortable with every day. And every, just the stars have pointed to, this looks like a great setup for being super comfortable, and it just really is. Um, Again, some contrasting colors so you can see what we're looking at. Uh, but nothing changes. The, the draw stroke is great. The retention is awesome out of any of this stuff. Um, it's just uh, it's just kind of perfect. You can tell that they're shooters. The guy, I forget the gentleman's name on the phone when I first was setting this whole order up. Um, I didn't prompt him to. Without any prompt, he said, you know what? I've never made this kind of system for someone before and I'm going to put it on and I'm going to make sure that this little shield clears that rear magazine. That was my concern that the magazine might be too close to this rear sight but here you can see there's plenty of, there's plenty of air in there to uh, not have any question to get that pistol up into your two position and start that push if you've lost, if I've lost my dominant arm. You know, things like that. You can tell that they were shooters. Um, you can hear the retention. Uh, more so out of my shield. I've got that one a little bit tightened in. Uh, there's a screw for retention on this one. There isn't for this one. I feel that's probably because there is a light on it. But I can tell someone put it on. Uh, it still feels great. I wouldn't want it any other way. Uh, mags aren't adjustable either, but you know what? Again, you can tell they're shooters. Uh, he told me he put it on, make sure it was good, and he, it's obviously that he did. It's obvious that he did. So with that, Black Point Tactical. Black Point Tactical, I'll include a link below. Uh, check them out. Give them a call. Look at their inside, the waistband minimalist wing setups. They got a they got some really neat ideas that I haven't I haven't necessarily seen uh, other holster makers really charging forward with. These guys seem to be um, one of the few um, with this kind of idea. But uh, with that, Black Point, uh, check them out. And remember, if it's if it's not the odds, it's the stakes. <laughs>